Welcome back guys, we're going to be easing into this short and sweet Uber Sunday Live if you want something longer, pause. Uh, check out the OU vid from yesterday, it's about an hour 20, big pause. Um, <laughs> um, E-Killer, boobs, trusted sword, we're using the King Gambit, bro had to have the one that was in the game. Sorting King Gambits all around the land. Do spikes matter? Do I care about. Ooh, we're staring down a Kyogre. We do not want smoke with this guy. Let me fix this a little bit. My showdown dimensions used to be fixed. Ah, I'm gonna make this sash. Still, uh. Deoxys is just not. I'm just not. Confident enough in Deoxys' ability as a Pokemon. 460. Hmm. Well, what am I sweeping with? Let's sweep with E Killer. Sweep with, uh. What's not gonna happen is us dealing with this fucking Kyogre. Does my Moraiden speed tier matter? No. And then let's see if I can go through the uh, Ice Beam specs here. So it's Scarf Ice Beam. Probably. Hmm. He stays in his scarf for sure. Yeah, he's scarf. Okay. Very well. It's good for my gambit, I suppose. Mm hmm. All right. This annoying as hell, but uh, very well done. Type of game we gonna be having? Watch him terror ground here. No, oh, so Gambit is looking handsome. Very handsome. Very very handsome indeed. This spike is gonna go a long way. Now he can water spam, unfortunately. Uh, he doesn't even know if I'm Choice Scarf or the gall of this guy. Uh, I'm actually Terra Water Zacian, which is funny. Um, always spout, spout. Doesn't matter. E killer him here. E. I'm gonna be a better sleeper. E killer or. Or. Uh, my terror type fire. Or gambit. Gambit's plus one. The reason I'm saying that is that since he water spotted. I'm not a hundred if the water spot will 2k on my RCS after the e-speed. It's still a Kyogre, so maybe. If that's the case, then my better play is to keep the art. I mean, there's a case for both. Yeah, let's see, that's 44. Okay, actually doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. So, my play here is to actually go this route. And stall out the rain. And he's going to be within range. Yeah. Now, oh, what? Let me see. Rain continues to fall. Is this shit, um. No, oh, no, it's one more turn. He has one more turn. Okay, I was about to say. So now I can recover to full. Non boosted. I can. So I'm not sure why he's doing this. One, he only has one spot left. Um, so he struggles. Unless the uh, somebody is packing. Um, we'll see. I mean, I'm not sure why he did that. It must be Terror Ghost on something. Right, Terror Ghost Coridon. Or Terror Ghost Moridon. Is that what they run? 
I'm really tempted to go for Shadow Claw here. Because this doesn't make any sense. Even if you're Specs, you wouldn't kill me. Let's see. Specs Draco. So, so why the? F okay, people are just people just deactivated their brain. Okay, I shouldn't have been able to deduce that by the fact that, bro, literally fucking. Uh, and I I let him get away with it, which pisses me off. I'm thinking like it must be Terror Ghost. Otherwise, this doesn't make sense. No, it's not like I've lost or anything. It's just. Principle. Principle. <sighs> Great. Be terrestrialized, I suppose. That's Judgment Earth Power. I'm Balloon Gambino. Is good. Recovers. And now you judgment. The Terrifier Swords Dance. The issue is that I should have just uh, recovered on the Arceus. Even if he were, I didn't think he'd be Specs Draco and not Terror Ghost, because that just made no sense. But I made the game harder for myself. Than it needed to be. And then the Terra Ground turn. I could have just U-turned. There are a couple plays here that I made that the opponent made shitty plays and I didn't punish him for it. Um so my play here is just a kowtow, honestly. Oh kowtow is a two KO. Never mind. Shit is powerful. Jeez. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Why is this game trying to make things so hard for me? Yeah, I figured he'd be judgment. But I never need it shouldn't have been that close. Like it shouldn't have been a case where I'm thinking this hard about this. <sighs> like I would have lost if he recovered there. But I, I played that game pretty sloppily. Forgive me. In the, like, that was a case where I allowed arrogance to get in the way. <laughs> now, there are several moments where even if, like, there were better objective plays, even if it was the worst case scenario, the terror grounds, the terror ghosts, all the things. And so I should account for all that in every play. And I was just thinking, ah, there's no way. I'm just clicking, clicking, clicking. And um, almost lost because of it. And so if he recovered on the turn I suckered, it would have been finished. I mean, this shouldn't have even been anywhere near that close. Yeah. But a lesson learned there. Uh, I love at least one pesky little spike in this matchup. Gambit is good. Very good. Um, ghost. I think that's Ghost. I'm looking at who I want to win with here. I think E Killer is probably the easiest sweep. The only setup sweeper I have. I have Zacian, but we're playing speed tie games. And he has a, quite a few things that could be faster than me in Koraiden and Moraiden, depending on which one it is. So it is Arceus Ghost, Psycho Boost. I have almost no stats. Let's get this spike up. He actually taunts. Would Gambit's balloon matter? So I'm right in here. So this is rocks. Very interesting. This is a free drift. You can't risk me Draco Meteor. On his Mariah in play. I recover would be a good mid ground here. Because he doesn't know if I'm specs or not. So I forced the Terra early. Is this um judgment? I should live, yeah. I think judgment stays ghost. Otherwise it would have said super effective there. There's something I was thinking. What changes? There's something that changes. 
What am I thinking about? Maybe I don't know, something changes. The taunt still Throck's judgment, which means <clears throat> he can't touch Gambit. Um, he actually can't touch Arceus either, unless unless Iron Bundle is a wild play, very wild. But it's a fast boy. So since Dacian is mid range range mon here and it cannot be guarded against uh we can force a ko he has nothing to come in on Zacian, unless it's scarf Raiden. so yeah if you're having Zacian offs that's that answers that and since i've forced the terra i'm in a beautiful position of power my landers and i could technically deoxys here it's probably objectively better to go hard deoxys but i don't think it'll make a difference in how i intend to win this game because Lando is taking a ton from that. And so now we're going to likely be staring down. Um, Dex, do I need rocks to make a KO? Or Zance? It's already Terra. No, we just Earthquake here. The RCS Ghost is likely to come in as I figured. But the um, I don't think he can touch my RCS, my E-Killer. Um, plus I can just go hard Gambi here and he's going to have to give me a mine unless this is packing Willow. He has focus blast, no recover. Okay. This is the type of stuff we're talking about. Here. You, know, you know what I'm saying? The type of stuff I'm talking about. The nonsense. The tomfoolery. The tomfoolery. That'd be going down. Okay, very well then. Earth fucking focus blast. So my gambit was decent. It wasn't like necessary, but you know, it would have been nice to have that sucker punch. Uh out of KO'd or or um well Iron Head plus Sucker would KO every mana this team at that point. Oh let's see. Oh wow. Oh wow. Well played. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. My brother. Do what I can. But no. That was a pretty lame freeze. Let's see. I guess I should have counted a little bit better for this Asian. Um, my E killer is SD. Oh. Or him. Did the psycho boost damage. Um, Mammoth Blade. Oh wow, I ate. I get another spike to ensure the KOs are, are guaranteed, more or less. And then what I'll end up doing is Intimidate Shuffle. I could Terra Water, but uh, the Terra Fire is better. It covers for any uh, nonsense later on. So we give up the Maraidon. And then we electro drift here. Play rust, that's fine. Just need to intimidate shuffle. So we can get the free setup with my RCS. I just Zab both recover and if he's iron headed then we still rock here. Yeah, Crydon comes in, that's fine. We'll use the intimidate. And this prevents any scale shot shenanigans in case it's choice scarf. Plays flare blitz. Hard to say. But well, we get the rocks up, which should seal the deal, as far as my E-Killer goes. Um, Earthquake is a KO on everybody. What did he just switch into? I think it makes a difference. By SD. Please don't miss. I'm not sure what he's talking about. I should just sword dance and maybe you need to focus blast. I don't think that matters. Unless the unless the um unless the I'm trying to lure out the Coridon. So the Maridon is um not boots. I actually should probably should have ran a calc to see if boots would have done me in. Like 
Zero Drift. Thanks. Yeah. He killer is a beast. Yeah, it's an unfortunate freeze for sure. It made a difference. Made a big difference in the game. Without a doubt. text message but yeah 1691 this guy's probably the um, probably top 10 if the uber is louder than what it used to be if that's the case then i'll play for real for real for real no he's up already okay let's play play for real for real then okay what are we doing here mm, we're having a deoxys speed off it's ultra susceptible to my e killer in the right points of the game. He has no hazard control, much like myself. My lander is going to be a key component. My uh, Zacian is something you can't guard against when that's hero. So I have his Kyogre is a big issue. And he's aware of that as he. Uh, Goes for water stab. That's okay. He probably ice stabs like last guy. But since I'm not um, Rocky Helmet anymore, I'm Sash. This works. Ice stab. I mean ice beam. Um. Give me one sec. <laughs> hmm. I meant to pause it, but it was coming too quickly. But now, um, let's assess this. Really, this seems relatively straightforward. The way when, when my knowledge is low within a particular metagame, the way I go about it, I go off what I think the assumptions are. Well, not what I think, what are what the assumptions are. Meaning, you know, I'm looking at his team and I'm like, okay, I think if my Zacian Swords dances, I just KO every member on his team after these spikes and rocks, right? Um, and it should be able to set up versus. Uh, a well positioned ice beam mine. Assuming this is scarf. Well, I guess if this is scarf, you can't set up on it, right? But I mean, like, once I click player off multiple times with the hazards up, it's a KO every time, and then E Killer will sweep him. The only way would be if this could Will O Wisp or something like that. But I'm not sure what. This is obviously the only thing that can, you know, is immune to E Speed, but it's not doing any damage to E Killer. So things like that, I'm like, okay, well, and then as far as his offensive threats, I can't switch in on Maraiden, but um, Draco spam isn't something you want to do uh, when you're this Zacian week. The water spot comes out. The spike, the second spike matters here. Right, and so like, for example, here, you think you turn into... Oh, well, Draco Meter is better. I don't know how much RCS ground is going to take from this. Even if you were to Flutter Main. Flutter Main is a risky play. Okay, so it's Scarf. Please hit. Thank you. That's a big hit right there. It's actually a really big turn since Kyogre is such a bitch to me. So, the Oxy Speed, Rocky Helmet is what they run. Very useful data. I guess it could be like mine. Maybe that's the, what they run. I have a lot of defense. EQ, e killer probably if, if I did 26% with a U-turn, E killer might not cut it. Which means if I go Zacian, I'll force him to taunt, which will discourage the spike. And I wouldn't have to deal with hazards for the remainder of the game. Um it does mean I'd be staring down his Kyogre the next turn. Alternatively, I could go straight into Gambit right here. And it's, it's very much a similar situation. My game is a really big problem for him. So I think Gambit is better, unless these are focus Blast. Because this discourages Swords Dance. But even if he were to spike, I stay on my balloon, stay on my square, and the rain remains. 
and Gambit is a huge, huge, if I stay on my balloon, it's going to be a huge impediment to his RC's ground. So Gambit pushed him in a position where he said, listen, I'm going to give you a decision. You know, you know what be down in the OU tier. So he picks this, he says, I'm going to take the spike over, over the balloon. So now you got to go to Koraiden and you got to U-turn. The thing about that is that once you U-turn, well, let me see. If he U-turns, I'll lose a mine. Depends. I might not. It might be better to. The thing is, that he's gonna U turn into Arceus ground. Right. And I could take the spikes damage. Now, what's interesting is that I could also. Uh, the U turn damage is gonna be useful for. For. Um, So the U-turn damage is going to be, the Rocky Armor damage is going to be useful for my E-Killer later on. I'm assuming this isn't like Terror Ghost or anything, but this might not be U-turn as well. This might just be a regular Coriden. So let me go to my, yeah, Ace Swords Dance, right? So on the off chance in cases like these, where it's Swords Dance, Scale Shot wouldn't do me and I don't think. But if you were to do me in with Scale Shot. I'm debating whether or not I go hard Zaishi on here. This is plus one plus the sun boost. It's choice bandit and has the sun boost, so maybe scale shot would do me in. So if I were to go to Zaishion and he were to um flare blitz, I'd lose my Zaishion, which you know is annoying, but I'm thinking which is worse. Him getting off the scale shot. Yeah, I'd rather him Flare Blitz, so be it. If he Flare Blitzes, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, so he scale shots. And I get to play rough. I'd assume he Terrestrialize here into Fire, perhaps. I don't have Substitute. I could, if he were to Terrestrialize into Fire, he'd what, Flare Blitz? Terra Fire, Flare Blitz. He'd give up the Terra. Because the point of my, um, this is going to hurt, but it's okay. I my, my landers will get blown away here. That's okay. Low kick. Oh, that's phenomenal. So that was a crazy play. Meaning like you were just going to sack your Coriden. Um, don't agree with it, but so be it. You know, more to them, you know, to each their own. So this is giving, this is putting him in um, extreme, extreme killer range. You get what I'm saying? E killer range. Um, so flare blitz is there, and he lost his son. I gotta be a little careful. Uh, so he was just gonna sack the the, the Raiden. Uh, yeah, I mean very. There must be something that I'm not aware of that made all that justifiable. I don't get why he would just, unless he was in Terrifier. So the damage on the Arceus is E because that's going to mean good things for my, um, so I'm assuming he's just going to all oh, Dragon Dance. I'm actually glad to see D Dance here. Because this is probably not recover. But either way, mm, there are a couple ways I could go about this. I could actually go my E killer here and Swords Ants into E speed and lean on the E killer earlier and then go to Gambit. The reason why I think that might be better is because. Actually, no, I have the sack of. Well, I think it just depends on if this has recover. If it doesn't have recover, then this doesn't matter. What I'm thinking is if these run recover, I've never seen Dragon Nest Arceus ground before, so I don't know. But if this runs recover, if it has E speed, then it probably doesn't have recover. I mean, I don't think they run E speed 
Wait, maybe Dragon Dance East. I don't know. I, mean, I know what I do know is that I'm gonna count out Cleave. Because I could have went Arceus. Yeah, if he Swords Dances, he probably has recovery if he Stone Edge there. 42%. Yeah, he has recover. I'm not letting him boost. I mean, not boost, um, heal. So now he's within range of my E speed. My Gambit's really useful. Really good. I doubt this is Scarf, Kyogre and Scarf. Right in. Should recover again, yeah. As long as I keep this to extreme speed range. Unless this is Terra Ghost. I mean, it's possible, I suppose. The Flutter Main is in. I'm guessing this must run Willow Wisp or something. I don't know. Because uh, he's super. Like, why would you switch out the Arceus if it dies to hazards? You know what I'm saying? Something must be coming my way. That's strange. There's a reason for me not to just go for Terra Fire. It's either Moonblast or some kind of Willow is right? I have Heavy Duty Boots. Yeah, just gonna Shadow Claw. I'm gonna Terra Fire and Shadow Claw. I don't know what to expect. Moonblast. Okay. Die. Yeah, so Flutter Main dies and I have the E speed. Maridan takes the defense boosting Maridan. Very interesting. So. Maybe this has agility or something. Let's find out. I'm not sure. Because what I'm thinking is here, I just sack my landers and go to Zacian. But I guess if this has agility, my play would be to like, where's that? I don't know. Electro just here. What is Earthquake? Terra Fairy. It does have agility. Look at that. I was just joking. But see, it has agility. So in that case. Terra Fairy. I actually forgot it never terra What's the other move? Dragon Pulse. Mm -hmm. Means Electro Drift won't kill me. I should just be able to Swords Dance. Yeah. That should be it. Arceus is fat. Yeah. Okay. This was a, a lot of this game was just me not being sure of what is common. And so that's unfortunate. This guy definitely is not his day to run into. Like, I actually know how to play Ubers. The metagame knowledge, like the skill stuff is, you know, I'm still a bit rusty, but from a skill standpoint, this, what, what constrains skill in Mons is not knowing what's going to happen next because Mons is a game of anticipation. So if you're not sure what problem is going to come then. You can't solve for it ahead of time. So that's really where the constraint comes. So it's like, okay, well, fortunately, most of the mods he's using are things that are tried and trues. So the set, <clears throat> the sets wouldn't vary too much. You know, the Maridan did throw me off, but fortunately, <clears throat> we played in a way where we accounted for some stuff. Um, oh, he was 1712, so it's actually higher than the thing you said. He was. Bro is actually about to hit like top, top 20. That's, that's tough, bro. Tough. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.